What's up, YouTube? My name is Ganka Jr., and here's a quick TLDW portion of the video. When we're comparing the base price of $35 for the Twitch backpack versus $49 from the Mateen backpack, in my opinion, the Mateen is the better choice. It has more pockets, security features, a nicer texture, and overall more functionality. The Twitch backpack is good for someone who carries light, but overall, in my opinion, it is not worth the money. You'd be better off getting the Mateen backpack and Twitchifying it with your business card, patches, or lanyards. The Twitch backpack has a wow factor, but is it worth compromising the storage? In the end, it is up to you to think if the backpack is worth it. That's my opinion, and enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get right into this, and the video is being recorded on my OnePlus 7T. Previous video was recorded on the Moto G6 Play, so hopefully the audio quality is a little bit better, and the video quality is a little bit better. I'm recording a 1080p60, and, uh, you know, hopefully the colors are a little more accurate and more true to life. So, some history about me in this backpack. I have used this for the last seven months. I got this because I got a new job. I had a new job back in 2019, and I used this as my commuting backpack. And honestly, I really enjoy it. And compared to the Twitch Glitch backpack, unless I start being a little more minimal, carry less... It really does not compare if you're comparing the two prices of the products. Because I think originally the Twitch Glitch backpack is $35 and then like 20% off. So I got it for like $27, $29. And the, and the Mateen backpack is $49. But I think I got that on sale, or like $45, and I got that on sale for like $37. But even if you look at like base price versus base price, for $10 more, you get a whole lot more value. And that's the reason why I'm not really all too impressed with the Twitch Glitch backpack. If I'm going to be using this backpack, it's probably just going to be, you know, for a light, you know, going over to a friend's house and I just need to carry a keyboard, a lap, my MacBook or something like that. But for work and what I do and, you know, on myself, I like to carry and I always like to be prepared for, you know, really anything happening. I like to have, I'm the type of guy that carries around everything in the, everything in the kitchen sink. So, like, we'll just do a quick overview on what I don't like about the, the Twitch Glitch backpack. One, it's not the strongest material. It seems like to fold in upon itself. Two, the compartment situation is very weak. Absolutely very weak. One mesh lining on this one. That's it. And the strap. Stretchy, but... Ah, this would be really tough to hold a 17-inch laptop. Because my MacBook is a 2012 MacBook Pro 15.6-inch or a 15-inch. And I was having to stretch this over to get this in fit properly. So, there's so many little things that can be improved. Just like, there's like little to no compartments for your pens, your pencils, you know, your power brick. You know, if you want to carry, you know, um... Like, I like to carry my headphones and uh, other, like, portable hard drives and backup backup hard drives. So, I find that to be very disappointing. So, we're going to take this out, view, and we're going to be talking about the Mateen backpack. It's also going to be, like, honestly, a semi-overview and rundown of this backpack. So, what I carry so far, I'm going to take it all out and place it off to the side. So, for some reason, like, I like to, I carry around a lot of things. And I, you know, I probably should uh, really bring less, but we got floss. I've had a lot of dental problems, so making sure to keep floss in my backpack and, you know, in the office and, you know, everywhere I go. So in case I need to floss and make sure my teeth are clean as possible, I'm good to go. Napkins, always good to have in case you need to blow your nose. Or for me, when I, you know, this is going to be going a little too much detail but, you know, nasal issues, and, you know, like, I just, reacting to cold weather, my sinuses all flare up, so I, you know, I feel like I cough more than I usually just like to cover my mouth, you know, make sure I'm not spreading any germs, especially now with, you know, COVID-19, it's, it's getting real crazy, it's definitely getting real crazy, uh, this, we have a side pouch here, not felt lined or anything like that, just standard lining, I'd probably keep my headphones here, which would be the... Well, once I, uh, when I'm allowed to wear headphones on the job, 
I like to wear the uh, Sennheiser HD 598CSs. And then another pair I do have is by Audio Technicas. They lay down flat. I definitely would be placing them in here. But I have been getting more into using the Bluetooth earbuds, the truly wireless ones, and I'm currently using the Redmi AirDot. Redmi AirDot's pretty good. For 30 bucks. I'm quite happy with it. I was having some connectivity issues with uh, my Moto G6, and, you know, it's not the best, but it's okay. So, oh, speak of the headphones. Audio Technicas, Bluetooth ones I got from FYE. Yeah, they're at my old, uh, what you call it, uh, mall, which is all shutting down, all the places are closing down, but, okay, a pair of Bluetooth headphones over here, portable hard drive number one, and port portable hard drive number two, probably don't need to be carrying both, the main thing I could just be removing one, and keep the newer one, because better connection, a little bit, you know, more up to date, deodorant. We are not sm smelly smash players here. And uh, I like to smell good for the ladies. Pens and pencils. Now, we got. Still use the MacBook Pro, and Ethernet's nice. I got this, never used it once, because I never figured out how to set it up, but just in case I ever do one day, use that. My last job, the Wi Fi was pretty trash. I wish I could have connected over Ethernet. We got my old Moto G, or er, uh, my old Alcatel charger, and then a my er, USB C to regular USB cable for a power brick, which we will see. Uh, we got I think this is probably for your keys or any other stuff you want to carry in this little spot here. Really don't see a point. You got you know more zippers. I got cable for my uh, SD, my uh, backup, backup hard drives. So, as you see, we have one extra pouch, and inside this is built into the system. We got pen holders, more pouches that you can emit, like even more pouches, and it's pretty deep. So, that's one benefit. That's a couple benefits already. I'm going with the team backpack now. We're gonna, another thing that is important to know, that these zippers are better than what the uh, Twitch Glitch backpack has. So it's gonna be hard to see, maybe I can pinch the zoom. These two line up. So there's a hole here and a hole here, when you push them together, they create, they line up, and you can have a little mini lock if you want to have the extra protection of no one trying to go into your backpack and Steal your MacBook, steal your homework, whatever it may be, you know, whatever you're storing in there. So a little extra added security. And these feel a whole lot nicer when they're, uh, you know, opening and closing. A lot of old backpacks that I've had, they've gotten caught, you know, they, like, get off the railing. And, you know, it's a, it's, it's a hard time getting it back on. Same with, like, my jackets. So having a good quality zipper is nice. Uh, we got the Yeti. And we got... My umbrella. Usually, probably keep the umbrella in the back in my um, uh, in my car. Uh, but sometimes, you know, going out of work is raining, so you know, I keep it with I keep keep with me more times than me leaving the car. Now we we'll go into the next compartment. We got another compartment. We got another pocket right over here. Uh, let's see. One man show, so I do apologize, but we got another compartment, which houses my power brick. And then we have two different separated mesh pouches, which hold my toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste, some more napkins or tissues, and we got a power brick, which leads to another benefit of this uh, um, backpack, is that it has a little charging port. I personally never use it, so if I really wanted to, I you know I could plug this in to my power brick, and then go and grab another USB cable and plug it in here. 
Now, I don't think I'd ever use this. Maybe this would be good for, you know, streamers that want to, you know, have a kind of uh, a Twitch streaming backpack where you have your power brick connected and then you just have a, you know, a USB Type-C cable. Let's see, focus. Well, that focuses pretty nicely. And then you just plug it into the back of your phone and there you go. You're charging, streaming at the same time. And you don't have to carry, you don't have to have this heavy, you know, power bank in your hand. You can keep it in your backpack and you have a uh, fast way to charge it. Now, I don't know how fast it charges because with OnePlus 7T, you have the 30 watt, uh, I forget what it's called. I'm just going to call it 30 watt fast charging. I don't know how fast it goes from, you know, this old regular USB power bank to the phone. I don't have that type of, uh, you know, tools to use it. And also, why is it, there's a little bug in here? What? So, there was a little bug. Uh, you may have been able to see that, actually. Parents' place has just been so buggering these past couple weeks. It's been kind of crazy. Moving onwards, we got drawing uh, book. We got my... Uh, book that I use for, you know, paperwork, you know, writing down notes when I'm going to interviews, and I carry my portfolio and all that stuff in there, and old projects. We're going to unplug this here before it all falls off. And then the, uh, strap goes to the top. Instead of having to, you know, lift the strap over the MacBook, it is attached to the top, so you can go down... Still have that protection of, okay, someone trying to pull it back, has it, it's nice and secured, you can even hear it, even hear it, and, oh looky, another, another pocket, like this is so much better, like you could probably hold a little tablet here, actually I'm going to try that, I have a, a Samsung tablet, A7, And it has a big old case on it. I like to, I like flip cases. So, you could stick a tablet in here. You know, iPad Pro maybe. I don't know the dimensions of this. But this, it's okay. You know, probably not the way I want to store it. But, you know, got another, another compartment here. There are so many more, you know, compartments compared to the Twitch Glitch Backpack. Which is honestly the biggest downfall to this backpack. I, I biggest downfall of the backpack. The only thing I really don't like about this backpack is the the padding situation. I'd rather see uh, more padding around, just all the way across. Make it two big pieces instead of having it three, you know, smaller pieces or two smaller or one big piece. And then there's also a strap. If you use, um, if you're going on a plane, you have a luggage cart or a luggage, I don't know, bag, and you have, you can have this, the handles go right through and, you know, it's not going to fall over. So just overall, the Mateen backpack is a lot better value than the Twitch glitch backpack. Yes, you do not get the Twitch purple color, you know. They like, oh hey, I'm a I'm a Twitch streamer, and you're not you're not gonna have a lot of people asking about this backpack because it is very, all in all honesty, very bland. I chose this to be very stealth, and um, you know, not have anyone look at me a certain way, and because I just want to get into work. No, 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 no issues, no problems. But with a Twitch glitch backpack, you're gonna stand a little bit more. But maybe that you know that's what they want. Uh, you can use it as a way of. You know, kind of self-promoting yourself a little bit. Have people ask me, like, oh my god, that's a cool backpack. Where'd you get that? Are you a Twitch streamer? Because I've had people before ask me, like, oh, hey, I like your Twitch hoodie, you know. What's your Twitch stream? So, it's just, you know, another way of people to get getting their names out there. But I really don't think that is good value. I'm, like, I feel like you can just, like, add Twitch pins, you know, your business card. Other ways to, you know, Twitchify your backpack without fully investing into the Twitch glitch backpack, because I feel like it's not good value. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I shall catch you guys next time.